One of our members, Eugene Li Yang, has had quite the year, hasn't he? But is anyone doing anything for Eugene? It's Christmas time, which means it's time for Eugene to sit on Santa's lap. And I will be Santa. You may remember the last video we did. You may even remember where this all began. A trip to New York around Christmas time. A gentle giant inviting his friend to come take a seat, take a load off. After months of wondering and doubt and a little flirtation, we did it. <laughs> no, what's wrong with you guys? We truly captured the essence of what he called home, reminding him of his mother in France, reminding him of himself with some of his favorite treats. But the moment itself was everything I, I could have dreamed of. Eugene finally sat on Keith's lap. I get emotional thinking about it. Since then, Eugene has not sat in Keith's lap again. And the summer turned to fall, and the fall to winter. He cares too much for the world and not enough for himself. So we have to figure out a way to get him into my lap that he doesn't see coming. We have decided to create the greatest positive prank for Eugene ever seen on YouTube. Basically, we're making a giant fake chair that's sort of like a chair transformer for me to be in, and I'll hide and I'll be hiding inside the chair when Eugene, <laughs> it's so hard to even talk about this. It's so amazing, it's so beautiful. Keith will place his supple soft body inside the chair. We will cover him up, place the chair in the middle of the room, and then Eugene will sit on that lap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Here's how it's going to work. Once a year, I get to unlock the discretionary fund to direct any project of my dreams. I play a goof on camera, but this is my opportunity to really show what I can do. Joining us is LA's greatest furniture-related acting coach, Edward Gallofomer. Throughout this video, I will be playing the character of Ned, happy-go-lucky la, <clears throat> the happy-go-lucky guy, diction, Diction, former <laughs> diction. Nine. I'm making it all up. What am I saying? Ned is just, he's such a great acting coach. I mean, he was on Yale's improv group. He was basically a performer at one of the greatest educational institutions in all of the world. So together, I really think we can pull off a chair performance unlike anyone has ever seen. A performance of a chair that will give a standing ovation. My wife and my baby are at home, so I've just been focusing on making Eugene's gift. Cut. Look at her, she's so perfectly a dog. <laughs> that, my friends, is acting. To pull this plan off, it is going to require the utmost secrecy and precision, which is why we have designed a fake branded video. We crafted a fake email and then requested that our agent from ICM send the email to all of us with a branded offer from Ashley Furniture. The email contained a fake price, a fake prompt, and brand guidelines that we had to follow. They don't know we're doing this. Ashley Furniture is not involved in this video. The video is the Try Guys design their dream office. Sponsored by Ashley Furniture. <clears throat> Why can I talk today? Ha, ha. Throw the energy towards the camera. Explore the space. I'm a couch. We are about to be moving into a new office in the new year. It's the perfect cover. We're gonna need a lot of office furniture. So they are coming in as the client and we are doing our pre-thoughts sitting on the Ashley Furniture Max Entertainment Chair. I will be the Carrick Chair, the Charactor. 
And I will give it up to Zach, who is the brains of this entire operation, not only directing this piece that we're doing, but directing the fake piece of the Ashley Furniture shoot. We are working with one of the greatest prop makers in all of Los Angeles, and he is going to be constructing a custom-made chair. Well, that is Damien. Hey, Damien, this is uh, Zach, the uh, chair guy. Basically, we want to hide a man inside a chair. So the idea is like there's a flap up top that, that we can open up revealing him, but otherwise it hides and then he's inside. All right, so he's, so does, okay. Way back, almost a decade ago, I played Cherry. So we did a Pee Wee's Playhouse parody and I created an entire chair costume. It wasn't quite to where we are now, but I have trained for this. I played all sorts of furniture. I played chairs, I played tables, I played couches. I one time starred in a duvet role uh, for a magazine. I see the stars were sitting back to back in bed enjoying a nice breakfast and there I am splayed out on top of them. In Fiddler on the Roof, I was an understudy for the roof. I've been doing wall sits, I've had Becky sit on my lap, I've been doing so much training, uh, lots of different chairs. I went to a Cracker Barrel and I tried to just sit next to all the rocking chairs and see if anybody noticed me. I went to Ikea and I just sort of looked at all the different chairs they offer. I obviously went to Ashley Furniture and sat on every chair there. I could have been something great, you know. I auditioned for the role of the throne in Game of Thrones and went to Penn Badgley instead. Really, the thing that scares me the most is that Keith is someone that expresses his joy and jubilation vocally. Even a peep inside that chair. What are we even doing? We are going to be giving Keith rigorous, extreme chair training. We tried to get Jenna Marbles um, to come to tell us how to be a chair, but she was busy, so she really wanted to. She was like, wow, this is such a good idea. I, I give, wish you guys the best, but um, she's not here. So we're just gonna watch her videos. You are going to need to try not to laugh. Right. Any laughter will give it away. Right. So you need to watch these videos and calm your entire body. Let's do a relaxation exercise. Can we turn off the lights? <clears throat> uh, we need those to see me on the camera. That's just me. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is why I didn't get the Transformers movie. I was going to play a lamp in Shia LaBeouf's room. If I make the mistake of expressing my joy and laughing before, before the big reveal, before he knows it's me, it's going to be ruined. And he might think I'm laughing at him. He might think this is all some crazy prank on him. And it's not. It's a crazy gift for him. Try not to laugh, everyone. Deep breath in. <gasps> These videos are just children getting hurt. It's not funny. <laughs> Sam, it's, not funny. it's not funny. Sam, Sam. It's Sam, not funny. Sam. They just got they just got like ran over by a kid's lawnmower. I'm gonna go ahead and say Sam is <laughs> Sam. very funny. It's pretty funny, but like not and like kinda it's not the whole video. It makes me uncomfortable. It's the like the first five were children getting really hurt. Keith, you have to be prepared for anything. You're right. Okay. Oh, no, it's another <laughs> child! Oh, oh my god! It's just children getting hurt! Sam! No. Sam! No, no, no. Oh my god! No, no, no! Oh my no. god! No. Oh. Okay, he seems okay. Oh. <laughs> it's a game of contradictions. Firm metal anchors it to the ground, yet the plush pink gives an air of whimsy. I could even write my name if I make the velvet go the wrong way. A game I used to love as a child. How does chair move? Does chair move their body like this? Does chair move their body with like this? No, a chair what? doesn't move. That chair does exactly, exactly. What body part does the chair lead with? The lap. The lap. So he needs to be firm, supportive, strong, yet soft, gentle, sensual even. Just keep saying I love you, Eugene. And then, don't even say words. Just say it with chair. I love you, Eugene. I love you, Eugene. Don't forget to fill out a feedback form. Oh, yeah. What was your favorite part of class? Sure. 
<laughs> sure, man. And I do sure hope to see you back for advanced scene work and chair work. Great. Uh, yeah, I'll let you know. Okay. Okay. I'll email you. Great. I'm also happy to do uh, some one-on-one. -on -one. Can we cut? <laughs> <laughs> Yes. It looks like one of those fancy movie theaters where you right. sit yes. in a giant yes. chair and watch this the movie. This looks exactly like the big AMC recliner theater. <laughs> Ashley Max uh, Home Entertainment Super job? Chair. Mega Chair. Mega, Mega Chair? chair. Oh, yeah. okay. we'll, have to, we'll have to. We keep changing the name. This guy is the monstrosity of a human being. Thank you. By that, in the nicest way. No, I, I accept Very it. Very tall. Keith is six foot three is also <laughs> worth mentioning. Uh, See this little lap? That's the star of the show. And so we want get enough contact as possible. Yes. This straps around you. How about thwomp? In from Mario, the big walking walls. So reach in. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. So let's help you in. All right. So <laughs> Whoa. So then slide those back in like that. So we need to, oh, wow. So we need to negotiate some of this stuff. And we're a chair. <laughs> wow. a chair. Hello, Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest challenge ahead of us is establishing the chair and Keith as two separate characters inhabiting the same world. We have to meet Clark Kent and Superman. Because of how complicated this is, we have found ourselves throwing emergency meetings at night with the entire company. All hands on deck. How hard is it to get you in the chair? Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Is there a way we can? This is way too long. Is there a way we can have Eugene walk in Keith standing next to the chair, and then we distract Eugene? There's no to way. Him. Unless it's not him that's a great idea. I mean, but I, I don't know, know if it works. It. But I'm, I yes. Like, is there a way that he could like go out for lunch with or something? Keith doing pre thoughts. The clock is ticking, the time is tight, and if anything goes wrong, Eugene will exit that room and Keith will be literally caught with his pants down and his lap exposed. I'm very worried about all those little things that could go wrong, but personally, I'm also just like, I hope it's the greatest gift he's ever gotten in his life. Yeah! <laughs> this is going to be the greatest film I've ever made. It's the morning of the Eugene gift and everything is going crazy. First of all, it's raining and it doesn't rain in LA, so that's a bad sign. And then this morning I realized on our calendar that Eugene has an appointment in Glendale at 9 a.m. So he's definitely coming into the office sometime between 9.30 and 9.45. We had planned for him to come in at 11. Now you're keeping a lookout? Yes. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, by the way, guys, Eugene is Ubering today. He left his car oh, last that's night. Right. Oh. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. He's not got a long walk in the rain. So we're going to have, like, moments of... Okay, where did he go? Go, go. Get the ladder. Just get him. Get the fucking bin. Get the bin. Oh, is that the one? This is the one! Wow! Ah, who's here? It's mine. And it's raining. I saw a car that looked like his car, so I was just checking. It, yeah, that's normal. <laughs> when, when you see our cars, Miles always comes outside. <laughs> <laughs> just wait. <laughs> Hi! Thanks for coming! We'll see you inside! We're moving out of here. Who it cares? Won't, Fuck won't, up the won't. wall. If this falls while we're shooting, we're fucked. I see a car. No, you don't. Shut up. Wait, 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 wait. I think, I think Roll down, right in front of us. Roll down, roll down. Let's roll, go, bros. Roll, go, bro. Really? False alarm. False alarm. alarm cutting. I was that bad. Wow. I'm just trying to remain calm amid all this. No, you're calm. You're good. You're calm. Just stay calm. All you have to do is nothing. All I have to do is sit. But also everything. But then, and wait, and be still, and be a chair, and be nothing. He's here. Let's uh, get ready, let's get the slate in. All right, here we go. Oh, hey, Gene. We're about to roll. Is there an action person here? 
Uh, he ran out. We asked for like an ottoman or something, and he went to Ashley Furniture to get it. <laughs> Are you wondering? You want to get your rude comments out now? <laughs> it's a monster. It's crazy. It doesn't have to go in our office. Why is there light up? Because it's the Ashley Max Entertainment. <laughs> or wait, what is it? The Ashley Max Home Entertainment. I, Super I chair or something. Oh, is this for a theater? Yeah, this yeah. is like a home theater. Oh. It's like a rich person home theater. I know. It's awful. It doesn't have to go in our office. <laughs> We're contractually obligated to have at least three in our office. Okay. Cool. All right, let's All right, Ashley Furniture. Keys, pre take one. The Try Guys are getting a new office. Long have we endured this tiny little house. This you see the chair? Yeah, it's the ugliest fucking chair I've ever seen in my life. I'm thinking of saying nice things about it. I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's something, huh? We are getting all of our furniture from Ashley Furniture, which is my mom and dad's favorite furniture chain. I'm not kidding. Thanks to Ashley Furniture, our new office will be home. Home is just something that's super inviting. You know, you walk in, you just want to take a seat. You just want to relax and unwind and just feel good. That's what home is to me. You know, you're surrounded by your friends, a warm embrace, a place to sit back and relax. You know, you, so much fun, everybody just laps it up. And this is Zach Prethought's take one marker. The Try Guys are moving offices. I am gonna miss this office. I mean, this is our first office. Sure, it's a decrepit old house, but we made memories in here. Why? This is where I started a company with my best friends. I think uh, Zach's still going. Oh, yeah, okay. And we really made this place into not just an office. Today we are teaming up with Ashley Furniture. They are going to help us furnish the office of our dreams. Because let's be real, this office uh, was not our dream office. It was our first office. Then next time around, I would I'd like to do a little better. The biggest question is what is the furniture inside the office? What's gonna go in it to really make it feel good? I want this thing to be exciting and unexpected. Something could spring out at any moment. This is a Max Entertainment chair. I want this to be my Max Entertainment office. I'm talking screen room, video game chairs. I want everything to be a seat. That's like all the best offices. I think that our company, our business is built on a foundation ultimately of trust. We're brothers. I want this day and this furniture to be a testament the bond that we share. I want my chair to feel like a friend. Okay, Eugene, so I'll walk you through this, um, but the intro up top is we're moving offices, uh, we're designing our dream office, and like the meat of the video when we get into it is like thinking big picture about what uh, our dream office might look like, and then kind of contrasting our four um, like designs and then There's some really bullshit. Contrasting four designs, like you want me to like something that's more in eleganza, probably. Mm -hmm. um, I love that I taught you all that word. <laughs> this is actually furniture. Eugene, thoughts, take one. Um, okay, give me a second. I'm trying to get out of this mental funk. What funk are you in? Well, the we presidential want to primaries are pissing me off. Everything's yes. pissing me off. <laughs> I just feel like I can't win against fucking white people. Okay, watch me act. <laughs> well, all right. This is your dream office. Yes. <laughs> that we are actually. This is Ashley's not going to see that footage, right? Okay. No. Cool. <laughs> I assume Ashley is. I assume Ashley is white. Ashley is one white woman. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Peloton lady. Yes. <laughs> I love this. I love this chair. I love it. 
The Try Guys are moving offices. We have spent a wonderful almost two years here in Ned's old house, but listen to that sentence. We're in <laughs> Ned's old house. He made his baby around here somewhere. Ned should have just named him Try. The memories associated with this office are the great videos we produced here, not the actual space. I in fact find this a very cramped working situation and I think everyone here would agree. Not only are we moving into a real office, we are gonna get to design the entire office. That's right, we chose a location that is basically bare bones, gutted, ready to get all made over. Like a beautiful girl wearing glasses and a ponytail at the beginning of a 90s rom-com. We get to design the furniture that gets to go in there. So we are partnering with Ashley Furniture to help us realize our dream of creating a second home away from home. Um, and specifically, they want us to thank Ashley Furniture, this is home. Thank you, Ashley, this is home. <laughs> Ashley Furniture, this is home. Thank you to Ashley Furniture, this is home. What do you like about the chair? Is this speakers? Yeah. Okay. I like that the chair has speakers. It gives you that surround sound. So you feel like you're in the movie and not just in front of the movie. I just have to adjust something. Um, I like that this chair is black. Fuck. I um, like black. Shit. Uh, do you do you want to roll it up? Yeah, I think so. Here, you you know what? You keep talking because we're talking about moving. Uh, Miles, do you want to help me? Yeah. Um, talk about the process of moving, Eugene. What do you roll well, it up? Well, the or roll process it down? of moving, uh, we're going to have to take everything that's in this office, including equipment like Miles and Zach are rolling up right now. Uh, basically. Every single item in this office, unless we don't want it to be in the new one, is gonna have to get transferred over. Um, and do you like and you like this chair? How does, does it remind you of a lap? Why did you guys what are you guys doing? Is this another thing? What do you think we're doing, Eugene? <laughs> oh <laughs> I love you, Eugene. Hi Eugene. <laughs> I'm so Fucking angry. What are you doing? I'm so angry. What are you doing? 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 A large arm gift? Eugene? Uh, just stay right there. We have, I know that you, this might be shocking. Would it? I'll go back in. To commemorate our new office, we have some shrimp cocktail and some champagne for you. Is that real champagne? Is it Martinelli's? It's Martinelli's. I don't want it. Okay, I'm just gonna put the shrimp cocktail here and I'll take the- Was this whole Ashley Furniture thing a, a ruse? Did we never have an Ashley Furniture sponsorship? Oh no! <laughs> Why was, oh, I mean, I didn't know that was there. I'm inside the chair. I'm just staying here because I know Keith's not, you're probably not very comfortable. It is <laughs> this is what, this is what you get. You want me to go back? No, I don't even know what life is now. Roll the tape back. I think I was, I've never been more disturbed in my life. <laughs> Man, when you were doing those pre-thoughts, and when you were talking about how bad mood you were, I'm sitting inside a chair <laughs> underneath you, being like, we have to call it off. <laughs> I can't communicate with the outside world. I'm like, call it off. We'll just make the video be he sat and never knew. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Y'all did good. That's <laughs> <laughs> I like that a lot. That's funny. Eugene, are you ready? You know, I do like it better with your face getting covered. I feel like it's more fun too. I'm like a puppet. Can you say Optimus Prime? Optimus Prime. Autobots sit down. Autobots sit down. <laughs> Yeah, I'm into that. You know, I guess I'm thankful that you guys put so much effort and thought into me. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Come on over. From the carpet and the people feels just like
ready? Yeah. Here I come. So during the past few weeks, while I've been vigorously researching, preparing for an interview with YouTube CEO about COPPA and queer creators and the far right on the platform, you three have been trying to figure out how to stick Keith in a chair so I could sit on his lap? Yeah. 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 I mean, the whole staff. Yeah, the whole staff yeah. Was, was working on that too. Logistics and decorating. Right. I mean, I think this one will get more views. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to prank all three of you so hard in 2020. <sighs> And not just no. this level, because no. lap sitting is innocuous and cute. No, 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 I'm going to prank you so hard that your grandchildren will feel it. <laughs>